Okay, I've been looking at quite an interesting problem today. Um, it's about controlling the quality of the information that goes into your Active Directory. If you want your, your AD to be your, your single sort of master directory for um, all your solutions, then, it, then the quality of the data that goes in there is actually quite important. So to give you an example, we'll look at this demo user that I've got set up here. Um, it's only Andy Pandy, but a lot of the information you can put in these fields could be in any format you like. So some people might put, for example, hey -o, H HO for head office, others might put head office, um, other people might put head office um, Reading or, or whatever. So there's nowhere controlling um, the specific quality of the data that goes into those fields. Now, one of the things that's actually interesting with Active Directory users and computers is that you can actually extend uh, the functionality of it and actually develop your own plugins to go into the tool. So that can be quite useful because you can extend and write your own interfaces uh, for those fields and therefore give a specific value to those fields that you want. The upsides of that of course mean that you can control the quality of the data that goes into those fields. So to give you an idea, here's one I've written earlier. Um, what I've done is I've extended Active Directory users and computers and added a new option to the context menu. You'll see there, for example, I've got something called Set Site and Company. Now, if we select that, it launches my little application. Um, and what it does, it gives us the option to select which office we're in and also um, what part of the company we're in. Now bear in mind this is only an example that could be extended out to various other fields and functions. So I'm going to select that I'm going to be in the Reading Warehouse and I'm going to be in Delivery and Operations. Okay. So what we do is we select those options, hit the button. Okay. Now if we pop back into Active Directory Users and Computers, we'll have a look at our user now. Okay, you'll see that the office has been set, um, the address information has been set, uh, other things like the organization uh, information has all been set. Now, these are in formats you can control, therefore you get um, better quality data in, in your Active Directory, which can only be a good thing. So just to show you again, it's simply a matter of right-clicking, set site and company, which is my extension that I've set up, selecting the office that you want, selecting the department, hitting the button, and it just happens. Okay, now obviously that, that particular screen there that we've just put on, I've only covered um, sort of the main offices and you know some example technology departments, but that can be extended to cover pretty much any fields that you want. So what we'll do is let's just have a quick look and see how this extension has actually been done. Okay, let's have a look and see how I've actually extended the functionality of AD users and computers and, and we can, uh, you can work out what's possible from there. So it's done from Adsy Edit, so you need to fire up Adsy Edit. I can't remember where I've put it, so I'm just going to search for it. Um, there it is. Okay, so the path to the piece that we want is in Configuration. It's under Display Specifiers 409, I think. Yeah, 409, then user display. Now in there, there should be a value called admin context menu. Context menu. If you edit that, you can see the values that are in there. So I've added in the second one. So I leave the first one alone because that, that's, that's there by default. Um, and essentially just use the next number in, in the process. So if you have a look at the format of that line, Just going to cancel it out and we'll bring it up in Notepad. So the format of that line is the next sequential number, a description, and then the path to your your script. Now bear in mind that that path can be on a domain controller share, it can be on a, a UNC share somewhere, it can be local, however you want to do it. Bear in mind, of course, that if it's on a if it's on a local machine, then of course it won't be accessible from other machines that are running users of computers. So essentially what's happening is we've added a second contextual menu for set site and company and we're running that script there which is site and company .hta. So if we have a quick look at that script okay there, there's our script You'll notice it's HTA rather than VBS. That's because I, I've wrapped it up in a, a nice Internet Explorer 
um, display. I mean, if we have a look at that script, okay, you'll see that it's HTML, HTML driven. Uh, with some VB script down the bottom there to do the actual selections. Now the thing to remember with VB, of course, that will only run in Internet Explorer. Um, if you want to run it on other web browsers, you might be better sticking to um, sort of JavaScript. It wouldn't be that hard to convert that script to Java, to be honest. I've just done it in VB um, because it's quick and easy. Um, yeah, so as you can see, extending it, it's very simple to do, um, and it can add a lot of functionality and sort of data quality to what you're trying to achieve. So um, yeah, anyway, I hope some of you found that useful.